Hi guys, it's Judith from JV Art Resources and thanks for watching today. I just want to do a little video on the Karen Dosh uh, Full Body Blender. I did an article on that in Color Magazine this past month and there's been lots of talk about it and it's a really great blender. I know uh, the Luminance pencils that are put out by Karen Dosh and the Pablos are some of the highest quality pencils that you can find because of their light fastness and they also have a pretty hefty price tag that goes along with it and I know some people um, try to buy a few here and there to uh, build a stock up like I did and um, this holiday I was able to get the set at a very reasonable price or I never would have purchased it and um, I'm very happy I have them because they're beautiful pencils but I will tell you before I started using the Luminance pencils I was still using their blenders these are the full body uh, Karen Dosh blenders and they are not like the other blenders excuse me blenders you will notice um, First of all, it's very creamy and uh, very smooth. It feels like a really nice, high-quality wax pencil. And the Luminense set gives you two of these in there. So that makes you think right then and there if they are giving you these to uh, work with their high-quality colored pencils that it's got to be good. And um, I've been using them all along, and I, I love them. I have um, a colorless blender here from Prismacolor and a Derwent and one from Lara. And I've used them all, and to me, in my opinion, they just all feel scratchy. I'm not saying that they don't work. They will burnish and they will blend your colors together. But in my opinion, not as good as the Karen Dosh Full Blender. Um, like I said, it is uh, much more creamy and smooth. I feel like it gives nice coverage and it's much more blendable. And also, um, on their packaging, they do talk about uh, protection from UV and um, some other some other things. So pick up a package or look at it in a store and you could read about it yourself. Um, I have a card set up here right now that I um, did uh, just a couple of test pencils so you can see it in action on all the different pencils and um, I have a luminance of course uh, since it's their, uh, their brand uh, Pablo uh, Prismacolor and a Polychromis and then this last corner here I have a combination so I'm going to show you this in action and um, you could just decide for yourself so uh, let me bring the camera over a little closer and let's zoom in and see uh, what we can see here today okay um, so now here this first column is my luminance pencil now I did do a few little tests up top so disregard that actually I'm going to work upside down so we're starting totally fresh here okay now this is um, the luminance I'm sorry Karen Dosh full body blender and I have another one here that's in a pencil extender there's literally this much left of it I love these and I use them all the time and I use them up but uh, for the video we're going to use one of these uh, brand new ones now they sharpen beautifully they really make a great point um, in your sharpener uh, as you can see it just takes it right down makes a nice point and on occasion that little tip just like with any pencil might snap off but it's no big deal you can just you know rub it on paper or a piece of sandpaper smooth it out and you're still good to go um, so now these other pencils here I'm not going to show you in the test for the sake of time you've probably used one of them at one point or another but I will say you can you know they're very scratchy and um, I just I'm not I'm not a fan so um, here we go and now I'm going to show you this about an inch on each this one is the polychromous this is a pretty shade of green in the polychromous now I am pressing fairly hard I would say maybe like a three or a four just going back and forth and blending and it feels very smooth it's not scratchy at all it's blending very beautifully you can almost see the wax wearing down and this works on all these brands there is that blended together that's the polychromous now we're gonna go with the Prismacolor that's this pretty shade of um, ultramarine blue again same pressure about a three or a four you could go a little harder is a like a five these pencils are very sturdy very durable very thick you can press as hard as you like uh, well for the within reason of course 
Um, they're not going to break. The point might if it's a long point. But here it is, blending beautifully. I'll go the opposite way here so you can just maybe see the blend. And that's the Prismacolor. Now here it is on the Pablo. I'll do this on a different angle. Now on um, this Pablo, I don't have as much color down. I left a lot of spacing. Probably need another layer, but you can still see it blending beautifully. Again, just as smooth on anything else. And that's the Pablo. And now finally, we're going to do it on the Luminance. A little blue crumb there. And you can see blended uh, beautifully on the luminance. Oops, sorry, lost the camera. So um, now one more thing I want to show you. Um, over here, this is a combination. I'm going to take another pencil because this really needs to be sharpened again. So um, this here is a combination of different brands and different shades. So I have uh, right here, first one is a polychromous, a shade of brown. This is a Prismacolor, a darker brown. This is a golden luminance. And then this is a brownish, this is the sable brown luminance. So I have two luminance, a Prismacolor and a Polychromous, all layered one on top of the other right here. And I'm just going to show you now with this fresh one how it all blends together. This is when you layer several colors to make a new color. I'm not pressing very hard. I would say here I'm pressing maybe a two or a three because you want to be careful with all those layers there. I don't want to take them off. I just want to blend them together. Once you start working back and forth, they blend together beautifully. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to change direction. I've worked all those colors in together and there you can see they blended together beautifully all these colors so, and if you have any questions please feel free to email me at www.jvartresources.com or you could post your questions here I'll be happy to answer them for you and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not make time to create have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time